All right, y'all, today we're back with another tutorial. Um, first and foremost, I wanna say thank you to everybody for um, watching my last video. It got a lot of views, a lot of likes. Uh, my channel grew a lot from that one video. I'm thankful for everybody that subscribed, that liked, commented, shared it. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, I'm gonna do my best to try to keep uploading regularly on here, but for now, you know what I'm saying, you gotta just work with me. When it was blowing up, you know, I was getting a lot of work done. I had a lot going on, but I'm gonna try to dedicate more time to putting out content for you guys. So today I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into it. Today we're doing how to set up two lights in five different ways in studio. All right, you guys, so right here we have my favorite light. This right here is the reverse umbrella modifier, and right here, this is the Alien B B800. This is often my go-to in studio because I like how soft the light is. And to make it a little harder, what we can do is take off this, this diffusion. We might do that today, we might not, but for right now, this is pretty much my go-to setup in studio. You know, whether I'm shooting one, two, three, or four lights, I always have this light more than often. All right, you guys, and right here we have my Alien B B400, and right here we have an attachment. I normally use this to attach color gels, but we're not gonna do too much of that today. We're just gonna have it on as a magnifier for the second light. And then what I also have is this softbox right here. You know, I'll leave a link in the description to pretty much everything here. So if you want to get it yourself, you can get it in the description below. But right here we have a soft box, nice photo, nothing too crazy, you know, and that's pretty much the setup we're going to be running with today. finished setting up the lights right here. Um, this is the butterfly light setup. You guys can take a look at it. So basically what it is, is this upper light is this is your main key light. Key light is basically a word meaning that it's the main light source for whatever you're shooting. So when the model is standing, this light is going to pretty much cover most of her. But with the way it's angled, there's going to be some bottom shadow. So to fill in the bottom shadows, we have this flash setup right here. And what this is going to do is this is going to fill in all the shadows underneath the chin and in any areas that this light doesn't get to. All right, you guys. So our model for today is Nyla. Hi, guys. I'm Nyla. If you guys want to get at her, I'm going to leave her Instagram down below. She's located in New York and Atlanta. So if y'all need a dope, talented model, I highly recommend Nyla. And we're going to jump into this setup, and I'm going to show you guys how I shoot this. So today I'm shooting with my Sony 85mm f1.8 and my Sony a7 III. And my settings are 1 125th of a second, f7.1, and my ISO is at 100. And my white balance is set to 5600 Kelvin. Let's see if you can just give me some nice poses. Oh, that's beautiful. There you go. I like how you had your uh, left hand up and then bring your like right hand down, so cross your legs. There you go, just like that. Bring your left hand down a little lower, right there. So you guys can check out in the photos. Um, one other thing about this butterfly light setup is that it gives a really pretty catch light inside of the eye. So I'll zoom in on the photo and you'll see this upper light reflection in her eye. And then you'll see this giving like a little, it's almost like a little twinkle in the eye, which I like. So that's one thing about this butterfly light setup. So I'm gonna keep snapping and then I'll show you guys what these photos look like. So right here we have the second light set up and basically what we did is we shifted our key kind of off to the right instead of being right on center it's shifted more to the right the right side of her for the second light what we're doing is we're using it as a rim light basically what it does is it outlines her body when the flash goes off what it'll do is it'll create a line of light around her and it'll look really nice i'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the photos but that's basically the setup for this for settings, my settings are pretty much the same as what I was doing with the last setup. And right here we have Nyla laying down just to give the image a different view. Nice. What you guys can do with this setup is that, let's say you want a little bit more, a stronger edge light or stronger hair light. What you guys can do is you can take your light and turn it up, or you can take your light and turn it down. You know, I'm showing you these setups, but it's not, a law, you know, you guys can break it a little, you know, you can have some fun with it, you know, whatever feels best to you and whatever you feel like looks best. But these are looking great. That's perfect, I like that. That's beautiful. That's money. There you go, that's nice. 
And one thing I also did is I brought Nyla out from the background just so that the background is darker than where she is. You'll see, you guys will see it in the photo, but basically I took away from the background just to make this white backdrop a little bit gray, a little bit darker, and to keep her in the light, it keeps her the main focus of the photo. There you go, I love that. Let's see you straighten out your arm. Perfect. All right, you guys, so for the third setup right here, we're gonna do is a silhouette look. So what I did is I took the reverse umbrella off of the B800 that we had before, and I kept the same modifier on the B400. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna point them both at this white backdrop. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a silhouette to where you don't see the front of Nyla, all you see is the silhouette of her body. So it's gonna look really nice. Slide this way a little bit. Nah, slide this way right there. A little too much, a little less. Right there, there you go. Let me see you turn to the front a little more. Right there, there you go. Let me see you uh, face forward. Let me see you like, uh, yeah, like, I like how you were holding your shirt, but let me see you quite cross your legs, kind of like that. There you go, just like that, perfect. Hold that. Pop your hip out a little bit more. There you go, right there, mm-hmm. Perfect, there you go. Bring your chin up a little higher. That's perfect. All right, so as you guys can see um, with this look, it gives Nyla more of a silhouette look. You're gonna see it on the screen now. And so that's pretty much how we achieve this look. My settings are pretty much the same as before. What you guys can do is you can turn your settings up a little more, like you can increase your aperture, you can increase your shutter speed, you can turn down your ISO even if you want to. And all that's gonna do is that's gonna bring things down a little bit more. Some tips I would say with this um, setup to make sure you get it right is try to have these two backlights pretty much as wide as possible. It's okay if it over. It's okay if you get an overexposed look on the background because we want our background to look white. We want it to look light so that we can have Nyla in a good silhouette. For this fourth setup, what we have is our reverse umbrella back on our main light, our key light, and I put it to the right of her. But what I did is I turned it away so that not much light would hit the backdrop, and mainly because I want like a softer light. So basically, with light. The more, the closer it is to the edge or the feather, the softer the light will be. So we have the light feathered off for Nyla. On the other side of Nyla, we pretty much just have a reflector, a regular one you can get from Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And then back here, we have this light on a pink color gel. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make this backdrop pretty much pink, you know? It's white, but with this color gel, it's gonna make all this pink. It's gonna give you a nice look. You know, you can apply this to a color backdrop as well. Let's say you had a green backdrop and you apply this, you would get a little pink to green gradient, which also looks nice. It's just a personal preference of what you want and what you shoot on. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap some photos and show you guys what it looks like. As far as settings, um, pretty much we're the exact same. For my strobes, we have this Alien B, Alien B B400 at a little under half power. And then we have our B800 key light at half power. Ooh, this look nice. Right here we have Mahogany holding this reflector. You guys don't always need somebody to hold it. There's also stands that come with um, reflector holders that you can buy off Amazon. I'll link those in the description. But for now, we just have Mahogany holding the reflector. And what that's doing is, as this light comes, from the right side onto her, what this light is gonna do is gonna bounce it back in to fill in her other side. We'll just say, if you have a stand, that's what it looks like. If you wanna use a stand, it's right there. But we got mahogany on um, over time, so. <laughs> oh, that's money. Let me see you cross your legs. There you go, that's money. Ooh, that's money. Let me see, take a step back, Mahogany. Right there, there you go. A little half step back again. Right there, there you go. Turn your shoulders a little bit more towards me. Right there, there you go. So, this is pretty much what this look looks like. It adds a little color on the backdrop, you know. You guys can get freaky with it. You can throw. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, with all the setups, you guys can change it. 
you guys can tweak little things to make a big difference. But for now, you know, this is pretty much just the basics of the setup. And we're gonna get into one more setup. All right, so what we got going on is basically, uh, we have our key light, the reverse umbrella on the B800. This is right in front of Nyla. And what we have behind her is we actually used the B400 as basically her backdrop for this photo. But I like this because it's gonna make her backdrop really, really white. You know, it's gonna be pure white. And then also what it does is when it flashes, some of the light creeps in from her back and it kind of like wraps around her face a little bit. It gives it like this nice halo look. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in this reflector right under her. So if you could take this, we're gonna have it right under her just like this and it's gonna create a catch light. And what that's gonna do is it's basically gonna fill in the shadows that's underneath her chin. Okay, and also what we did is um, because this light was coming in a little too harsh, what I did was I took the, this is also another reflector. This one's just a little bit bigger, but inside of the reflector, it's this translucent, um, it's basically diffusion. Basically what this diffusion right here is doing is it's cutting it down so that we don't get such a crazy flare in the camera. You know, we want to keep this look nice and simple, nice and clean. So that's the reason I added this diffusion in front of the flash. So you can still pose with your hands. Perfect. And you guys, for these shots, mainly what I'm doing is I'm grabbing pretty much just beauty shots, just head shots. So that's pretty much everything from the top of her chest up. Let me see if we get a couple more. Perfect. All right, you guys, so those are photos from this last setup. If you guys enjoyed what you see, please, please. All right, you guys, so that was the last setup. If you guys enjoyed what you, God damn, bro. All right, you guys, so those were some pictures from this last setup. If you guys enjoyed what you see, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anybody you think needs to see it. Um, I would love to see you guys, you know, take some of these setups and put it into your own. If you do that and post it on Instagram, please tag me, I'd love to see it. I'm pretty new at this YouTube thing, so I'd appreciate it also if you guys let me know some type of videos that you wanna see, some tutorials you wanna see, some questions you wanna ask. Leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to respond to them any way I can. Other than that, I'ma see you guys next time. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Woo, you recording? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, let me be free, let me be free.